The campaign over marijuana legalization in Montana is taking shape as a group opposing legalization initiatives has now been launched. MPN's Jonathan Amberian talked to supporters and opponents of the initiatives about what they're planning for in the coming months. In the November election, Montana voters will consider a pair of linked initiatives that would create a recreational marijuana system in the state. This week, the first official committee opposing those measures announced its campaign against them. The group Wrong for Montana has begun placing billboards around the state, calling for voters to reject I-190 and CI-118. Leaders say their campaign will highlight the negative effects they believe recreational marijuana has had in other states. All you have to do is go to Colorado for a test site. They've been up and running now for eight years. And if you look at the traffic accidents, you look at the emergency room, you look at the vagrants that are on the street, you look at the uh, activity in the, in the black market as well as the regular market down there, it has just exploded. Wrong for Montana has received support from the Montana Family Foundation, Montana Contractors Association, and the national group Smart Approaches to Marijuana. I-190 would create a framework for recreational marijuana in Montana, and CI-118 would let the state limit sales to those 21 and older. Leaders with New Approach Montana, the group that proposed the initiatives, say the opponents are exaggerating the impacts of legalization, and that recreational marijuana could be a valuable source of revenue for the state. They remain confident voters will support the measures. We know what Mar Montanans think about marijuana because we went out and spoke to them over the last two years. We had very close conversations. And so we're very aware of what Montanans want out of this regulation, and it went into the writing of it. Voters will soon be seeing more advertising in this campaign. New Approach Montana has already spent $2.3 million on TV time, and they plan more spending on digital ads. In addition to its billboards, Wrong for Montana is working on digital ads of its own. Also this week, the Montana Contractors Association announced its endorsement of Congressman Greg Gianforte, the Republican candidate for governor pointing to his opposition to legalization. Gianforte's campaign says he's voting against I-190, but that the issue is up to voters to decide. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.